Edgy Labs. My name is Ben. Hello, good morning, and do 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 do. Welcome to the Micro Soaring Show. Have a beautiful day. All my followers, all subscribers, have a beautiful day. Have a nice day. Enjoy it. And we start today in the morning right away with the beautiful iPad Pro 12.9. A1652. It was mailed in by another customer. The screen has been already taken out. I don't know if this screen will work again because at a side on the flex cables on picking out, um, it doesn't look good. Okay, so but I try to get it. The customer uh, wrote on the form that uh, he got the tablets to another repair shop and they couldn't help him. They disassembled the screen and they gave the, the pad like that back to him and they said okay it's uh, CPU damage and we can't do anything. So I didn't check anything uh, on this device but because it's already disassembled um, I just want uh, to see if I can, can do some measurements and, and, and see what about the pad and why is the pad not working. So. At first, I want to see for the charging current. So that's the first indicator for me to see what about that pad. Okay, we got about 900 milliamps. 900 milliamps of current flow. On this iPad Pro 12.9, the signs for damages are completely different to, to other pads, so for me, I just want to see what about a boot. So I just disconnect the board from the battery. Then I connect the screen. Okay. Then I reconnect the battery. And I want to see if we got if we got current flow. And we got about 900 milliamps. But we don't see anything on the screen. And it's an iPad Pro 12.9. So could be a damaged screen or could be a short in my experience. It's only experience, okay? So for me, what I want to do now is just to check for the value on DC power supply. So at the right side, we should have plus and at the left side, uh, I want to see where we have plus and where we have minus and if there is some if the battery is okay so let's see okay we have 3.5 volts right side minus left side plus okay let's get in some captain and Let's do some measurements. Okay. Okay. What about So the right side was minus and the left side was plus. Oh, we got a VCC main short here, I think. Let's check this again. So around the PMIC, we should have some VCC main caps. Yeah, for me it looks for me it looks like a short on VCC main. So how do we solve that problem now on an iPad Pro 
we need to take the terminal. We need to take the terminal. Then we need to take our phone. Then I just want to get some tweezers in here. Okay. And Crocos. What about Crocos? Okay, we got a VCC main short. And I want to see where. Oh, and <laughs> that's really amazing. I just, do you see that one cap here? That was fast, really. iPad Pro 12.9 short on VCC main. Let's have a look for the cap. Do you see that? Just amazing or not? On the point. So for me, it's just just searching now. Okay, and here. The second one should be broken cap. So I mark it for me so I know where it is. Okay. And I just get out the cable. That's the way to work fast and to find errors like this in a really fast way. So I marked the cap, you see, so I can definitely remove it fast. It's next beside to the underfoot PMIC. Okay. So I want to get that cap out. Just some flux on it. I got it out. So let's help with them with some hot air. Okay, and low down the melting point. Just a little bit. I have to open the door. One second. Okay. Load out the melting point to 183 by using just a little bit of this beautiful paste. Uh, 
kann schon mal beim Andi der Knopf drücken da hinten in der Ecke, der grüne. Na sie. Muss ich schaffen wie du. <lacht> Muss ich schaffen wie du. Okay, so we now. Just. Do it in that way. And we can get in a new cap. So. Rechts oben über seinem Platz hinter dem Oszilloskop. Geradeaus, geradeaus. So, hinter dem Oszilloskop da hinten dran. Okay. So, just the cover from the PMC, that's not a problem, I will get that back. Rechts aber. Ich mach sofort. So, okay. Done. Looks good, I think. And now we can check if this pet if this pet wants to boot again. If the short has been gone or not. So at the right side we had minus. And at the left side we had plus. So that's pretty okay. Yay, short has been gone. Cool. And now I just want to get on the screen. Lay down. And put up the pad. Let's see if the screen works or not. And boom! We are back to life again with our iPad Pro 12.9 after no power, no boot, no reaction, nothing at all because of a short on VDD main. And you saw the pad was already disassembled so it was a fast job just finding the shorted cap, replace it and pad is fully working again. I just want. Okay, don't we have enough power to power that pad completely up? That can be on the power supply. So I. Yeah, you see it works. So I just disconnect the power supply. I take out the captain. Getting a screw into the battery. Need the right screwdriver, should be that. Yeah. Yep. So should be that. And now we need a cable like this. And you see battery sign, 1.7 amps of charging current, battery was at 3.5 volts, so it just needs a little charge before we can boot the device. I think you saw um, that device boots up, not a problem at all, it's fully back to life again, customer can get all the important data on the pad and he can use the pad again in a full way and I think... Um, that's nice, okay? If you want to learn things like that easily, you can do that at the Bottle Level Repair School Germany. And if you are working at the repair industry for smartphones and tablets, you can just join our Facebook group, Smartphone Repair Group Germany. I would Smartphone Repair Group Germany. I would be happy to see you there. But please answer the questions, otherwise we can't accept you. And by the way, please buy the ICC Pro, an amazing tool which every technician in the whole world needs. So 
have a look on YouTube, on Instagram, or Facebook for ICC Pro, or use the website iccpro.de. I'm out. We see us with the next video, and I hope you like it. Give me thumbs up and um, subscribe my channel. Boom! Back to life again. Use Ben.